Hi everybody, I'm Honda Pro Jason at the North American International Auto Show where Honda just unveiled the new 2018 Honda Odyssey. Sure, the new Odyssey has a 3.5 liter, 280 horsepower engine, made it to a 10 speed transmission, 10 speed transmission, Honda first. That transmission is actually going to be built here in the US, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. This new Odyssey is completely redesigned inside and out. Let me show you some of the cool features. In the top level trims, these are all LEDs now, the whole front, all new front fascia. This Honda H is now where the sensing is. So all the sensing is hidden behind here and there's still a couple of cameras up top. Coming around to the side, wait till you guys see these 19 inch wheels. These things are sick, look at this. 19 inch wheels on an Odyssey minivan, unbelievable. The mirrors, they now had the blind side indicators on the driver's side and passenger side. And let's see if they kept, oh, they did. The breakaway fold away, this is what I love about them. One thing that people always complain about the Odyssey is it had that cut line on the side. It kind of broke up the body a little bit. It used to be this line all the way along the side where the door went. Well, guess what? It's gone. It's actually hidden inside here. Check this out. Now when this opens, that line, you don't even see it. The door comes right out. One of the things I loved about the second row in the old Odyssey is the wide mode. It's where you can actually fit three baby seats by lifting up the seat, pushing it over, and locking it into place. It was a little awkward, but it worked fine. This year, the guys at Honda R&D came up with something cool. It's called a magic slide seat. Check this out. Now, if you put a baby seat in this seat and you want to move this seat over, this is the only vehicle that you can actually just lift a lever and slide the entire seat over five different positions and then you can get access to the back seat. So let me clarify what I'm saying here. A baby seat can be attached to the seat and the seat could then move without moving the baby seat. How cool is that? I know what you guys are asking. Yeah, Honda Pro, will it also move forward and backward? Of course it'll still move forward and backward. How convenient, how awesome. It's not just this seat. Both sides do it. So you can push these seats together, you can push them apart, you can slide one or the other one over. It's not just all about the seats and how they move around. Honda's put some pretty cool tech in the back of this car. Check this out, up here is a camera. You can actually see the occupants in the second and third row from the front screen. How cool is that? USB plug-ins, 2.5 amp and an HDMI and the car has built-in 4G LTE. When I said the 2018 Honda Odyssey is filled with new technology, I'm talking some awesome new technology. To help explain it all, I have Derek and Derek from Honda R&D. How are you guys doing? Wonderful. Great. Awesome to see you. Thank you so much for spending the time and explaining to us a little bit about the tech. But instead of explaining it, can you go inside and show it to me? Yes, if you awesome. want to go ahead and jump in the driver's seat, I'll go into the passenger seat and we can talk about some of the new technology. Let's do it. Now that we're inside the car, as you guys can see, this screen is completely different. And Derek, this is a totally new Android-based system, right? Unlike any other Honda. That's right. This is all new for the 2018 Honda Odyssey, and it was developed in-house. I'll tell you right off the bat, I love the colors. <laughs> yes. I mean, really, it just it makes a big difference. It looks really, really cool. So go and explain some of the new and cool features that, that this offers. Well, one of the things that we wanted to bring in was the customization that our customers are now expecting with new technology systems, you know, their phones and their, yeah. their TVs, whatever. Everything is customizable, and we're going to bring that into this system. So with this, we can now take any app. You can move the apps around. You can replace them. You can also have three dedicated shortcuts. You can take an app, for example, we'll take Social Playlist as an example, and you can hide it. So you can simplify the screen only to the functions that you use. And that makes it a whole lot easier. So if you don't use Pandora, right now it's applied to the home screen. We can remove it either through this or through our customization. We can take it and we can make it go. We can take it and we can hide it. Or if you want to bring it back, just go back in, re-add it, and it's going to be back again as the last app. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Explain a little bit what Cabin Watch is. So Cabin Watch, what we have in the second row right above is a camera. 
and this provides a view of the second and the third rows. Okay. It works both in day and night. We use infrared uh, IR LEDs. We provide a, oh. a very good view <laughs> cool. in both day and night. Particularly I what love we want to do. Yeah, particularly what we want to do for both uh, front and rear facing child seats. Yes. This provides a very good view of your child's face and provides that security while you're doing those long drives. In addition to that, we'll, we'll jump in the app one quick second. Yeah. Uh, Cabin Talk. Now, we have a shortcut here. It's also available on the home screen. We put in a couple different uh, locations for ease of use. But Cabin Talk, what that does is it allows the uh, front row passengers to be able to quickly communicate to the second and the third row, uh, particularly while using the uh, headphones. We've already provided a very quiet cabin, you know, the quietest cabin in this class for that ease of conversation from the first to the third row. Right. But what we needed to solve is when your children are watching a movie on the re-entertainment system, you can't, they can't hear you. They're focusing on the movie. Of course. You don't know what volume they have on their headphones. Okay. Hopefully it's not unreasonable. Uh, but what this does, again, it pauses the movie. It amplifies your voice directly over the headphones. It works both for the wireless headphones that are provided as well as wired headphones that are plugged okay. into the jacks. For our uh, top of the line trim, uh, okay. because we have the additional uh, third row speakers, we also allow the system to broadcast to the second and the third row speakers as well. I love it. So Absolutely cool. What other cool stuff we have here? Let's see. I keep looking at this AT&T hotspot. Yes. And this car has 4G LTE. That's right. So we have, for our, our higher trim grades, we have the telematics system, which is a built-in uh, cell phone right into the car. That's a first for Honda. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so tell me, tell me how this works. Is you explained a little bit before about the pads and how people could control everything. And for, I guess first, let's, before I get ahead of myself, I get really excited for technology, by the way. Um, tell me about the hotspot and how that works. So somebody has a pad. Mm -hmm and they can hook up through this Wi-Fi hotspot. So what you can do is you're gonna have a uh, data plan for the car. Okay. And then utilizing that data plan, instead of taking your phone and turning into the hotspot, the car itself will provide that hotspot connection. Got it. So you connect your phone, your laptop, any other device that has Wi-Fi capability, and you can use the vehicle's data plan in order to get that content. Love Additionally, it. our rear entertainment system now has streaming apps built in like a smart TV. And so we're gonna use that same data connection if okay. you have uh, a telematic system uh, in order to uh, provide that streaming content. Like what, like Netflix? We have PBS Kids and Cinema Now as our video streaming and we're using iHeartRadio and Spotify. Awesome, mm -hmm. that'll be a lot easier. Yes. And get into a little bit of the app. So you can, there's an app that you can download. In the future for, through the uh, App Store as well as the Google Play Store for what? iPhone and Android. What is it called? It's called Cabin Control. Okay. And what this allows you to do, we have five features associated with it. So when you have the app downloaded, you're going to connect your phone to the uh, new display audio system uh, via Wi-Fi. Okay. So it's a Wi-Fi connection and there's five features. Uh, you can control uh, basic functions of the front audio system. You can change the source. You can t uh, change a preset or tune a radio station. Okay. Uh, it also duplicates the rear entertainment system remote. So if you want to be able to control the rear entertainment system from the front with full control, instead of having to turn around because and Because it's, and hit it's that. Wi-Fi, so it'll work exactly. anywhere. So you, we duplicate the rear entertainment system remote. Okay. Uh, it controls the rear climate system, full function. Full from the control. remote. From the remote. You can change so cool. the temperature setting, change the fan speed, <laughs> all the controls that that controller, we're duplicating them right on the phone. And how many, how many controllers can you put in each car? You can put up to eight devices connected simultaneously. What if two people want to do the heated control? What happens so at the same time? Whoever is the first to uh, go onto that screen. So each function okay. is its own screen. It's like a tab style. So when you select that function, the first one to get on that screen has control. If the next person tries to get onto that screen, it will uh, gray it out and say that feature is unavailable. But as soon as the first person switches to another function, it jumps immediately becomes available without the user having to, you know, cycle on or off. Right. With the built-in navigation system, we have the database on the car for restaurant locations, hotels, sure, all your points of interest. The phone will look up the exact same database that's on the car and then you can uh, locate in a restaurant or a hotel, and then you can push the address to the display audio unit. You as a passenger can, we can discuss where we're going, and then you can just shoot the address right to the system. Exactly. 
Can so, the kids pick out places they might want to stop, like a museum or like a water park or something, and shove it, or that doesn't work? So any phone would have access to all the features, but the driver can disable them by device. So for example, you have an older child, you yeah. may want to only enable on their phone the ability to change the rear climate system or and uh, access the rear entertainment system remote, but you may want to disable control of the front audio or disable control to be able to send navigation wow. points of interest. And that's by device. So the parents can have full control with their devices, but you can have limited access with your, your children's devices. And then the last one is the social playlist feature. And what that is, is music that is on the device. Okay. So, um, and then Android songs that you would put on your Android phone as well. Okay. You can uh, stream it from your phone onto the display audio unit. And that's where we have the eight devices being paired simultaneously. So oh what you can God. do is now that's everybody so cool. can add their own song, like a family jukebox style. It's awesome. You know what? I have never seen any car or van or truck that has all this connectivity kind of stuff. It's super, super cool. So Derek, thank you very Absolutely. much. Other Derek, yep. thank you very much. Hey, you're this is going to completely blow people away. In the back, they kept things very similar. Come here. This back still opens up by power. Have you guys seen the manual override? Check this out. If you press and hold this button, you can actually turn this into a manual mode. But unlike last year, you can stop this in any position you'd like. So if you're in tight quarters, you can just stop this halfway. And if you have a taller garage or a shorter garage with a shorter overhang, you can actually set this by pressing this button and holding it. And now when this back door opens up, it only opens up this tall. How convenient is that? Back here, Honda has the same magic seat. Folds down just with one hand, which is awesome. Folds right back the same way. The Honda Vac has actually been expanded to some of the lower trim levels. And they've added some different crevice tools so it's easier to get back into these small crevices with the Honda Vac. Yes, Honda thought of everything, sure. The Honda Vac fits all the way to the front seat, but this end is specially designed to fit in the Magic sliding seat. Check this out, if you get crumbs in there, this goes right in and you can take all the crumbs out. How smart is that? A couple of other really neat things about this rear hatch. If you notice, there's no more strut bars. In fact, everything's located inside the headliner. What that allowed Honda to do is actually make this wider so you have a much bigger opening so you can fit more stuff in there. And check this out. This cubby hole, it fits a one gallon jug of, I don't know, milk or washer fluid or if you're like me, probably orange juice. Also, if you look throughout the vehicle, the vents are taken out of the ceiling and put at chest level. So now people can get better ventilation that also allowed more space because this is where the old AC unit used to be for the rear. That's my first look at the 2018 Honda Odyssey. As always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're...